guys, so today's video is going to be a beauty haul video. I have not did a haul video in literally forever. Um, I did film a clothing haul, fashion haul, for, I swear I did film it like a week ago, I need to edit it. But I haven't filmed a beauty haul or even put up a beauty haul in literally ages. Feels like it's been like years. It probably has been like a year, no joke. Anyway, so today I was really excited to film a beauty haul. So I literally just got um, a box of stuff in the mail two days ago. And I do have a few other stuff that I've collected over the past maybe, maybe month, two weeks, month in there around there um, and I really just wanted to share with you before I actually I have digged into a lot of them but I wanted to share with you so that I could keep them with me and not put them like in a separate area I'm gonna jump right into it um, everything is basically from Sephora um, and Ulta and Mac and then I got some drugstore items um, that are currently new and stuff like that so I'm just gonna jump into it everything I just literally put it all in one little bin um, and then I'll tell you where I got it okay all right so my first item is a repurchased item this is the Tarte Parabir Juku oil I believe I have spoke about this I had a like the rollerball tester trial kind of size I guess you could say it anyways I tried the smaller guy and it lasted me for months and when I was out of it my skin you could tell my skin was lacking it and needed it um so I got I went ahead and purchased the full size this is what this this is what this is what um, it looks like. It just comes in a nice jar like this and it actually comes with a pump and you literally just put two pumps, three in your hand and then you rub it all over your face and it seriously is the best thing for your skin ever. Um, it is, what does it say? It says, this earth prescribed treatment oil target to your individual skin concerns and delivers harmony, moisture, and fertility. What? Sounds like a pregnancy thing. <laughs> Pure, undiluted, cold, pressed, whatever. It keeps your skin balanced um, and rejuvenated, has rich fatty acids, it gives your appearance a brighter complexion um, and vitamin C, and it has powerful anti-aging benefits. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, I love it. It's the greatest thing. I have oily skin. I put it on every single night and not only does it balance my oil but it does help with my complexion. It makes it brighter and it kind of keeps my skin clear and it's just the best thing for your skin. I don't use a nighttime moisturizer. I just use that. Another skincare product is another repurchase um, and it's the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. I did purchase this smaller size um, and it lasted actually a pretty decent amount of time. It probably lasted for maybe six months maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if I talked about this either. Anyways, I really do love this mask. Um, it does clean deep down and I love the way it feels. It's just really nice. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin or anything or leave my skin feeling really itchy or red. Um, and that's kind of what I look for in a mask. If you're looking for a mask and you have problem areas, then this is pretty great. Sometimes I just put it on my chin and on my nose. And those two items I did purchase from Sephora. I got a few new palettes. The first, both of them are by Too Faced. The first one is this Bonjour Soleil. It is the limited edition summer bronzing palette. It comes with the Chocolate Soleil, their famous Chocolate Soleil um, matte bronzer, the Sunny Spa Natural Bronzer, and then the Snow Bunny Luminous Bronzer. And then it comes with also a flat kabuki brush. Look how cute the packaging is. Isn't it so cute? It does remind you of summer like a beach bag. Anyways, it's a really nice, really durable packaging. It's like in a tin case and it's actually magnetic. Oh yeah. This is what the palette looks like inside um, and this is the three bronzers they're really decent amount they're, it's a decent amount um, of sizes and then the kabuki brush so it's really it would be really great for traveling um, or it's just really great kind of compact if you want to just like your bronzers are all in one just ready go there it is um, it's also one of those things that it's not a necessity but if you're a bronzing fan or a bronzer fan and you like to try a different bronzer or if you're a big fan of the chocolate soleil bronzer then you, you want to hurt to get this bad boy. Anyways, like I said, this is limited edition, so if you are interested in getting it, then I would probably snag it pretty soon because you don't know, you never know how long it's going to last. 
It does smell like chocolate. Mm. You got chocolate? It's on my face. My next Too Faced palette is the Chocolate Bar palette. I did dig into this a little bit today. Um, this is really nice because it comes with 16 eyeshadows, antioxidant rich cocoa powder infused eyeshadows. Um, if you're a neutral fan, I actually wasn't really into this when I first when everybody when it first came out and everybody was getting it I really wasn't into it and then I seen it yesterday at um, Sephora with my husband and he's like that's actually nice you should get it and I'm just like okay <laughs> I guess if you're pulling my leg <laughs> no I'm just joking I just felt like it was just I guess I guess I'll get it I was so sucked into it alright he made me do it no I just was feeling them and the texture of them are really nice and really really blendable and they're all so pigmented I, I, when I was swatching them, I just t pig touched them all, of course, and they were pretty pigmented. The only negative thing I would say is I wish they had um, an orangey shade, like an orangey crease color. Um, the closest one to that is that color right there, and it's more of like a nude color, if you know what I mean. Um, but I'm not going to hate on it. You get 16 eyeshadows, and it's only $49. It's a pretty great price, um, for if you think about it, for um, 16 eyeshadows. So, they're really, really pretty, and it's just an array of matte and shimmery shades, so I thought it was a nice addition to my collection. Since I'm on the Too Faced kick, I'll show you two more. Too Faced items that I recently purchased are these two melted liquid lipsticks. These I initially only got because I seen someone wearing this purple violet one and I was like, gotta have it. It's what I'm wearing today and it's a super pretty purple violet color, duh, it's the name. And the other one is, what is it called? Fuchsia. The packaging is super cute. That's why I put it back in this packaging. And the lipsticks are actually pretty cute too. And you actually get a lot in here, like you'll never use this whole thing. Unless you're, you use it all every day, but if you're like me and you use like a different lipstick every day, then you probably never go through it. I really like these because, dang it, I really like these because they're um, comparable to the OCC Lip Tars, but the applicator is just like a felt applicator and you don't have to use a brush, which is really great because sometimes I don't really want to reach for my OCC Lip Tars because I don't want to have to find a brush. So, so these are really nice because you can just pump it up put it on and you're good to go. The m texture of them, at least the violet one, I'm assuming they're both the same, where is it, are really really nice. Um, it's a really moisturizing feeling and I've been wearing it for a few hours now and it doesn't feel like that it's going to peel, like you know, like you got to put another lip gloss over top of it so that it doesn't peel or doesn't like wear off. It doesn't feel like it's going to do that so I'm actually really excited. I should have got the other ones. Maybe I will. But those are super, super cute. I love those. Another product from Sephora is this Laura Mercier Baked Powder Highlight in number one. I don't have too much of the Laura Mercier either, so... Come on! Get out! Get out! This is what it looks like. I was literally out using my max superb highlight so i was like i need a new highlight so i just stuck with this one it's actually really really pretty champagne color um i have not worn it yet so i'm not sure how it wears how pigmented it is but it's right there oh and those lipsticks did i swatch them one more in one of my lips and i didn't swatch the other one either dang it let's swatch it since i haven't even used this one Dang, girl. And the other one I don't need to swatch because I'm wearing it on my lips. Um, and I swatched the other stuff because I had to film this video another time because my camera died and it didn't save my stuff. Anyways, that's that. And then my last item from Sephora is this tinted self botting self botting self body mist. Self tanning body mist. I actually didn't realize it was this small. I haven't used it yet. It smells pretty good. You know I'm a huge fan of the self tanners. Two MAC lipsticks that I recently purchased from the Playland collection are Happy Gold Lucky and Red Balloon. I wish I would have got towing around. I'm so mad. 
to what they look like. They are nothing special, nothing crazy. You probably already have these colors or color similar in your collection already. Swatch them right here. That one is the red balloon and that one's happy go lucky. Happy go lucky really reminds me of candy yum but the finishes are amplified so it gives you a little bit more of a moistured look, a little glossier look. So I also got this cute guy. Look how cute this is. Seriously. I only got this because it was like one of the free items you put in your checkout. Um, and I had to get it because I would love the Prada Candy perfume. Smells so good. So I had to get this guy. He's so cute, isn't he? So cute. Don't you just love him? So cute. I like many things. Many things are just so cute. They make me happy. Happy, happy, happy. I have picked up a few things at the drugstore this week. The first few are the new L'Oreal Preve um, collection. It's like the Preve Nude. It's the Preve? Preve? Whatever. Whatever. My husband's outside. I can hear him. By my window. He's singing. <laughs> so cute. I'm not going to say anything because I want him to keep singing. <laughs> These are the three nudes that I picked up from the collection. The first one is Jennifer's nude, which is the middle one on my arm. The next one is Eva's nude, which is a little bit darker, and that's that one right there. And then the last one is Julian's nude, which is that pretty one right there. They're actually pretty moisturizing. I don't want to consider it long wearing, um, but it's, it's pretty great for a drugstore product. You can't really beat it. It's not like a stain or anything like that, so it's not going to be crazy long wearing anyways. Um, but they're pretty hydrating, moisturizing, pretty nice quality, and I absolutely love the matte packaging. It's just so sleek and girly. I just love it. I picked up two NYX Jumbo Pencil. The first one is Black Bean, and the next one is Sparkle Green. These are... I love these things. I picked up a NYX eyeshadow in exotic green. I think I picked it up to go with that green, green thing. <laughs> and also from Maybelline, I picked up a new color tattoo. You know, I love these. These are from one of their limited edition collections that are recently out on display right now. Um, Stroke of Midnight. It's just like a black one. Another, I haven't got one. A L'Oreal eyeshadow. It's from their new collection. I just thought this was seriously so stinking pretty. I love these eyeshadows. Some of them are actually really, really great. The quality is so nice. They're super pigmented and so soft feeling. I love how soft they are. It almost feels like velvet. This one is in Endless Sea. It's right there. This will be really beautiful in the summertime in your um, inner corners or under your eyes for a pop of color. Perfect. And then lastly from the drugstore, I picked up two polishes. The first one is Jaded by Revlon. They're both mint polishes. If you can't tell, I'm kind of in a minty phase. What's new? And then I picked up the OPI um, Garganthium Green Grape, which is so pretty. This one is a little bit more greenish as opposed to this one is a little bit more minty blue color. It has little undertones of blue. What am I, bird? So that is my haul. Let me know if you want to see any reviews of these items. I will probably um, show some swatches and whatnot on my blog, so check out the link down below if you want to see that. Um, but again, let me know if you want to see any reviews of these products um, and if you want to keep seeing beauty hauls because beauty hauls are, hauls are my favorite videos to film and watch. Hauls and favorites. My favorite. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Enjoyed? What am I talking about? I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Under my eye. Of course I do. Ah! My camera is so annoying. I'm really tired. Like because I was gonna ref refill it because it was like flat. It looked it like stupid. Oh yeah. It does smell like chocolate. Mm.
my face to be like smelling. You got chocolate? It's on my face. And use it. So happy, happy, happy. <laughs> now into drugs. Drug. What is wrong with this thing? Which is, which is ah crap. Time is. Is it really? Real Housewives are on. I told you to tell me. I just got done anyways. Coming. Duh. I think it's a Christian song. <laughs>